<laughs> and I'm going to walk. Or it's kind of windy out there, too. Yes, so and I'm going to walk this way to yeah. the forecast yeah. because we are still tracking rainfall across parts of northwest Ohio. You'll see here in downtown, it looks pretty quiet. It's overcast. We have the cloud cover. Not that much wanted sun in the forecast. And because we have the clouds, it's not really warm outside either. We're currently sitting at 42 degrees. And that westerly wind, it's still breezy like yesterday. It's around 14 miles per hour now. It's going to be gusting around 25 miles per hour for today, so it's just going to add that extra little zip to the cooler air that we have. As far as the rain, it's at least scattered for us. You can see it's a little bit of green here, a little bit of green there. You'll see a little bit just trying to roll in there to the northern portion of Lucas County right there along the state line. And also we have a little bit just trying to head into Seneca County as well. Overall, this is going to be the pattern that we have through the day where we'll have some rain here and then it'll turn off and it'll pick back up and then it'll turn off. So it'll be very much scattered for your Tuesday as far as the cover and even the timing through the day because the system we're now on the back side and it's got enough cold air to where we do have a little bit of lake effect further north. So we'll be watching those bands to see how well they sneak into southeast Michigan and across the state line. But being on the back side of the system, that's why it's a little more broken as far as the precipitation chances for today. But you can still see this big mess is kind of swirling around and it's playing with our forecast. So looking ahead though through today, like I said, it's just going to be a little bit of green here and there, kind of pockets of that for the forecast. You'll find even by this evening, of course, of course, it's election day, so if you're going to place that later ballot, you will still be working with some showers. But if you have the WTOL 11 weather app, you can kind of go to vote between those breaks in the rain. So that's going to be a pretty helpful tool for today. Overnight, it's still holding a little bit of precipitation in the forecast as we'll yet have lingering showers in your Wednesday as the system is slowly working its way out. A lot of that rainfall is going to be a little bit further eastward. So if you're towards the western portion of northwest Ohio, you'll start to see those drier conditions a little bit early on. On. As we go through our high temperatures, though, I've been watching these cool today and tomorrow, but once we dry out, we have 60s that take place. So it looks like May finally going to show up here in the forecast and even 70s for next week. I'm saying 79 because that's going to help a lot of us out. But like I said, Election Day, you are going to find it's a little bit cooler. We'll have those scattered showers highs. Those are going to be into the mid 40s for today. And you will find on that forecast those climbing temps and at least the rain ending on Wednesday. Dry weather as we go through the weekend. Great news there. And even as we look at that full 10 day, you will find that we're pretty quiet in the forecast as those 70s take place. A few showers we will be watching next week for some rainfall, but at least we have 70s in the yes. forecast. So like yes. you said, it's I was keeping out. my eye on that. Yeah, mm -hmm. everybody's watching for those 70s and it's myself included. Yes. <laughs>